Find the general solution of the equation e to the x sine y minus 3x squared dx plus e to the x cosine y plus 1 third y to the power of negative 2 thirds dy equals 0. So we can tell this is an exact equation. And let's deem the first term, the term in front of dx, to be m, and the second term to be n in front of dy. Now, to prove that this is an exact equation and to continue on with their calculations, we must first prove that the partial derivative of m with respect to the other variable y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to the other variable x. And proving that they are equal will thereby prove that this is an exact equation. So let's do that. m of y, which is equivalent to del m del y, is the partial derivative of this term here. Well, let's see, e to the x in the eyes of y is just a constant, sine y. So what is the derivative of sine y? It will be cosine y with the coefficient of e to the x. So we write e to the x times cosine y. And uh, the negative 3x squared is just a constant since that is that has no y term. So the derivative of that will just be 0. Now let's move on to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Del n del x. That equals, all right, let's see here. Now we're trying to focus on the x terms. So we can see here e to the x, the derivative of that will again be e to the x. And we coincidentally have a coefficient of cosine y. So you can tell that these will most likely be equal. Therefore, the partial derivative of this term will be e to the x cosine y. And again, you can see here 1 third y to the power of negative 2 thirds. There's no x term, so that's a constant. Take the derivative of that, that's 0. We have proven that m of y is equal to n of x from the e to the x times cosine y equation. Therefore, it is exact. Now, to find the parent function, capital F of x comma y, you could also do lowercase f, but I like choosing capital F. All we do is take the integral of m, this time with respect to x. It could also be n with respect to y, but let's just do it with m dx in this case. So this equals the integral of e to the x sine y minus 3x squared, all of that with respect to x. So let's do that now. We can split this apart into two integrals in our head since there is a subtraction term. So let's see here. The integral of e to the x sine y will just be e to the x sine y due to the fact that uh, the integral of e to the x is e to the x and sine y is just a constant. So f of x y equals e to the x sine y minus, well this time it's just 3x squared or negative 3x squared, so it'll be negative 3x raise the exponent to the power plus 1 and then the denominator to uh, 3 to match the exponent and make sure to add the functional constant g of y and simplifying that we get e to the x sine y minus x cubed plus g of y. And now uh, we have this term here. Since we proved that this is an exact equation, let's now take the partial derivative of f of x comma y, this time with respect to y. So we integrate with respect to x, differentiate with respect to y, which will give us our remaining constant. So del f del y equals all right, let's see here. What's the derivative of this term? We already found it up there. It's just e to the x cosine of y. What's the derivative of negative x to the power of 3? Well, that's just 0 since we're differentiating with respect to y. So plus 0, then plus g prime of y since that's just the derivative term. Now we know that since we took the partial derivative of this term, this is equal to the n term. So let's set that equal now, e to the x cosine y plus g prime of y. 
equals whatever is in the n term here, e to the x cosine y plus one third y to the power of negative two thirds. Now we are isolating for g prime of y. We can see that the e to the x cosine y will cancel and that leaves us with the remaining g prime of y equals one third y to the power of negative two thirds. Remember, for the parent function, we need g of y, not g prime of y. So let's integrate this. This will become one third integral. We are bringing the one third out since it's a constant. Integral of y to the negative two thirds dy. What does this equal? Well, let's see, one third times uh, we will bring the numerator exponent up to a power of negative two thirds plus three thirds or plus one. So that becomes y to the one third over the same exponent, one third. Well, we can see that if you bring the uh, denominator fraction up to the numerator, it will be inversed and therefore canceling with the coefficient. So it will equal y to the one third, which is also equal to rad y with a cubic root. So now that we have that constant, we are actually at our answer now. So f of x comma y, the parent function, equals, let's look back here what we underlined, e to the x sine y minus x cubed plus this term g of y that we just derived, y to the power of one third. And remember this equals c, since this is not an initial value problem. We are not given a exact point for this function. So that leaves us with this answer. e to the x sine y minus x cubed plus y to the one third equals c. I hope this made it a little more clear for you. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.